Hello, everyone. What's up? What's up, everyone? <laughs> All right, so uh, I founded Gitcoin, which is a place where the world's uh, leading Web3 projects are uh, born, funded, and validated. And I want to talk about the work that we're doing with the graph. But before I do that, I want to talk about why we're here in this ecosystem, how we're going to get to where we want to be, how Gitcoin Grants 2.0 supports that, and then we're going to announce a Gitcoin Grants round with the graph. So uh, I sent this tweet earlier this morning because I wanted to understand how people in the ecosystem think about the purpose of Web3. We could talk about immutable data structures and transparent global networks for human coordination, but what is the actual purpose that we're building towards in this space? And of course, the first response I got back was to make money. <laughs> And to the surface level observer, maybe that is true. But I think that if you look a little bit deeper, we're trying to tell the story about global decentralized financial markets and how that those are the system is the primary thing that we're building and everything else is uh, just a feature of that. And then we can get into solving systemic problems like the core of crypto is to rethink the global political economy, make it more public and accessible everything else follows from that core premise. We can have open access to opportunities without bureaucracy, discrimination, identity, uh, and permission. We could <clears throat> make everything more efficient, which creates more wealth, and that's good because it allows us to deal with bigger problems better. We can distribute ownership and governance of the most important information systems of the 21st century. <clears throat> we could change the concept of value and its distribution to make the world more human again. Um, I think that one of the interesting perspectives is that as we moved out of the industrial age and into the information age, that we've turned a lot of the systems that we had in the 21st century, have created their own problems, and Web3 provides us the tools to solve these coordination problems, which is really speaking my language. We can replace bureaucracy, and finance and record keeping can have more simple tools that offer greater power and autonomy to individuals. And I think, to me, a lot of this boils down to solving coordination problems. <clears throat> the most espoused values in this space are cypherpunk values. Any individual advocating the widespread use of strong cryptography and sovereignty is something that was baked into the Bitcoin white paper when that became ascendant. I consider myself to be a solar punk, someone who's envisioning how the future might be different if humanity is successful in solving its most contemporary coordination challenges with an emphasis on sustainability and solving problems such as climate change and pollution. In the middle, <laughs> thanks. I could actually look at a round of applause for these values. Thank you. <laughs> Since I've been espousing solar punk values, I've been really encouraged by the conversation around the concept of lunar punk which is basically a combination of solar punk and cypher punk. Basically, the pushback against solar punk is if we're all funding public goods and solving coordination failures in public, then that enables a data trail in which malicious actors can take advantage of that data in public. So what if we combined the sovereignty and the privacy-centric uh, cypher punk values with the solar punk values? And what if we were able to fund public goods in a privacy-preserving way, in a way that preserves our autonomy and our sovereignty? And I think that that, to me, is how I boil down a lot of the things that I heard this morning when I tweeted, why are we here? What is the purpose of Web3? So how do we get there? Now that we've defined where we want to go, or at least directionally, where an intersubjective consensus of community members in this space want to go, how do we get there? <clears throat> Using Web3, I think that we can build coordination mechanisms that leverage our collective intelligence to solve some of humanity's most pressing coordination problems. And this is what informs Gitcoin's purpose. We want to empower communities to build and fund their shared needs. And that's what we're known for, I think, with Gitcoin grants. When people get coins on Gitcoin, let's see what I did there. <laughs> it creates a systemic incentive for the world's agents, right now humans, but later DAOs and AIs, to care for their shared needs. And so what we're doing here is we're maximizing coordination as a means of meeting our ability to meet our shared needs. You've got a community of agents, mostly people at this point, but eventually DAOs, that have a set of shared needs that they need to solve. And whether 
whether that is funding their community or any of the problems that we talked about at the top, they need to coordinate. They need to find a mechanism to come together in order to meet those shared needs. So we've got means and ends in this space. We've got the end, which is meeting our shared needs, solving our contemporary problems with climate change, solar punk values, but also safer punk values like privacy and sovereignty. And we've got coordination mechanisms that allow us to use this transparent, immutable, global, programmable substrate as a means to solving for those ends. And I think that the real opportunity in this space is to get to maximum coordination because that is the ability to meet our shared needs. Wait, it's all coordination? Fuck yeah, it always has been. <laughs> Gitcoin's impact so far is that we've done $62 million worth of funding for coordination problems. This is a graph of the inner subjective consensus that the Gitcoin community has created in grants round 13, our most recent grants round of the values and the, the things that the community wants to fund on Gitcoin. Each edge in this network is a transaction and each node is a grant or a user. And so the funding that happens on Gitcoin is not my values or my projects as the, fu the funder of Gitcoin. We're trying to build a substrate where greater combinations of strength and intelligence can come together in order to build and fund our shared needs. We do that with Gitcoin grants by enabling community members to build their communities and their ecosystems. And we do that by enabling grant owners within these ecosystems in, to raise money for the work that they're doing. And we do that by allowing contributors in these ecosystems to give as little of a dollar and have hundreds of dollars of impact using a mechanism called quadratic funding that Vitalik Buterin uh, and Glenn Weil and Zoe Hitzig invented. Using quadratic funding, even $1 contribution can have impact in these ecosystems because contributions are matched by contributions from large donors that have decided to delegate using the quadratic funding mechanism to the preferences of the poor and the many. I think of Gitcoin as an impact DAO. Basically at the meta level, Gitcoin grants allows us to create an aqueduct of funding that donors in the communities can distribute at the object level to the projects that are having the most impact and whether those values are the, the, the impact that they're having are cypherpunk, solarpunk, lunarpunk, or something else. The mechanism is completely deferential to the community. And what I think that is really an important value that has come to me as we're trying to build this more solarpunk, lunarpunk, cypherpunk world is that Gitcoin is natively interoperable with other impact networks in the world. And that's why I'm really excited to be here at the Graph Day talking about how we can have impact on the Graph's ecosystem. Because I think that one of the things that the Graph is doing is having a really strong impact on developers' ability to build tools that help create, uh, that, that help with shared needs with our shared needs as a community. So the graph is basically allowing me as a developer to move faster in the ecosystem that I'm working in and Gitcoin Grants is giving me funding for work that I'm doing in these ecosystems. So we're both converging on helping developers get done what they're gonna get done. We may be mostly known at Gitcoin at, for Grants 1.0, which was the centralized monolithic product that I built back in 2018, just trying to get Gitcoin off the ground. But we're in the middle of the build out of Grants 2.0, which is a fundamentally decentralized and modular infrastructure for funding and building public goods. At the base of that is gonna be a Gitcoin Grants registry, which is a decentralized registry that powers the main Gitcoin Grants round and that's gonna be fundamentally interoperable with other grants platforms and protocols. Uh, my friend Oren at CLR Fund, my friends in the optimism space that are working on retroactive public goods, the Ethereum Foundation's grants program, and also the Edge and Node and Graph grants program. On top of that, we're gonna build an ecosystem of mechanisms that help us get over the free rider problem and the coordination problem of meeting our shared needs. In Gitcoin Grants 1.0, we had pairwise quadratic funding bundled into the monolithic platform. But in Grants 2.0, we're gonna have a modular approach to getting over the free rider problem and we'll support perhaps Macy quadratic funding or retroactive public goods funding, perhaps conviction voting, or what if we extended the Gitcoin Grants registry with a deeply liquid registry of impact certificates so we knew which Gitcoin Grants were going to have the most impact. 
I like to think about this as a heuristic problem. It's just the engineer that worked on AI for several years. For me, we're traversing the search space of possible coordination mechanisms in the fitness landscape of how we meet and fund our shared needs, looking for the local maxima and then the eventual global maxima of how to empower communities to build and fund their shared needs. And we are trying to maximize coordination as we are looking for the ultimate coordination mechanisms that meets the values of each of these communities. So you can imagine that we're speed running our iteration towards maximum coordination by starting with our centralized pairwise quadratic funding and then eventually iterating towards this decentralized quadratic funding. And hey, maybe decentralized society quadratic funding will be the global maxima for some communities, but maybe Macy quadratic funding, which is fundamentally privacy preserving, is the ultimate mechanism for other people. And of course, this is all towards the goal of creating maximum coordination. <laughs> this guy with the SLR is taking a picture of me with ripped SpongeBob in the background. So we're just going to sit on this moment for a second. Yeah. Great. Great. I'll be remembered for this. <clears throat> All right. So I'm here at the graph day. Uh, I met Yaniv and the graph team back in 2017, 2018. Been really proud to call them a friend. And I'm really happy that. Uh, to see how much they're just helping developers in the space create the impact that the developers in the space want to create, whether they're working on DAOs, the protocol layer, NFTs, L2s. And uh, as we look to build our web of impact, looking at how we're going to integrate with the graph and help them initially build out subgraphs. So um, I just I think the graph is such an amazing project and ecosystem, and I'm learning a lot from seeing how they coordinate. And like I said, we both converge on helping software developers build products. Uh, Yaniv and the Graph and the GraphDAO uh, are focused on uh, helping developers query a deep, vibrant, decentralized data set. And Gitcoin is helping software developers get funding for the work that has the most impact. So I think that Gitcoin and the Graph are helping us speed run the finding of our purpose that I started with at the top of this talk. And I think that some of these things are really worth doing at a systemic level for humanity. And so the fact that we're helping developers move much faster, I think, is really cool. So Gitcoin Grants 2.0 is going to be built with Graph Tech. Uh, that grants registry is going to be interoperable with Everest, and we are hopefully going to get them running more Gitcoin grants rounds in order to build out their ecosystem adjacent with the Ethereum round. So that's going to start with the Gitcoin grants side round. Gitcoin grants round 14 is June 8th through the 23rd. We're going to have 50K available to people who are working on subgraphs in the Graph Thief Go system. And if that goes well, then we'll do more quadratic funding and Gitcoin grants with the Graph ecosystem. And so I encourage you to go to gitcoin.co slash grants slash new in order to get involved in that round. And I want to thank the, the Graph team, Edge and Node, for having me today and for doing this grants round with us. I think that together we can speed run towards maximum coordination with the ecosystem. We can meet our shared purpose of the Ethereum community and all of its sub-communities and hopefully build a more Lunar Punk world. Thank you.